Hi guys. So, I'm going to show you today how to fix up um, when you get paint that leaks underneath the vinyl. Um, so that happened here with the moose. So we had paint that leaked underneath the, ho the moose horns. Mostly because we tried to do this in one go instead of like um that's why i think it's kind of better to block this off first do your swipe and then let it dry and then do your paint after but sometimes you know when you're teaching and stuff you want to do it in one go so i'm just gonna grab oh here so basically um you can just grab some sandpaper so what happened is is um, where the paint leaked under, it created a ridge, it's bumpy, the paint sticks up from here and stuff like that. It kind of happens, right? So you just got to fix it. The nice part about acrylic paint is once it dries, you can just paint over. So, but I want to get rid of that bump right here. Now, you could just use, like this is P150 sandpaper, any kind of fine grit sandpaper. You can just cut a little or rip a little piece off of the sandpaper and just hand sand it down um, so that it's smooth like I wouldn't be worried about because you're painting you're gonna be painting over so you're mostly just trying to get it so it's down and smooth or <laughs> you can also use a Dremel <laughs> Now you're probably all cringing, but um, I've used this on a bunch of paintings and it works great. You just got to be really careful. Um, so this is my Dremel. It's a Dremel 8200. So I don't know. It's an older one, um, but they work really good. And then I just have a, like a sanding drum on it. So it's just a fine grit sand drum on the Dremel. And I'm gonna try and make it go slower. So there's different, like you can make it go really, that's, <laughs> that's way too high. So I just go to the lowest setting. And you wanna make sure with these that you stay flat to the painting um, in order to get it. So like, you don't wanna be on an angle like so. You wanna kinda be flat with the painting if you can which sometimes is hard, but, and then you just, so you gotta, you'll be on a little bit of an angle, but, there, I'm just sanding down that lip. so it's not so up in the air. Now you can see I took a little bit of that off. Totally fine. I'm going to paint over it. pretty good turn this off sorry <laughs> so it's pretty good like it's down quite a bit it's not as rigid as it was before um, I wouldn't want to do it anywhere where I have some like some fancy paint because this is just straight brown so I'm not too worried but anywhere where you had your pour um, you'd want to watch out <laughs> And then basically, it's just a matter of grabbing a paintbrush and hand painting. Let me grab a smaller one. And I still have some of this color, which that I saved. And then just to fix it up, like you just want to paint in that negative space again. So, the negative space, I just paint them in by hand. If you go over, you can just wipe it off or wait till it dries and 
paint back over it again. That's the nice part about acrylic is that you can just let it dry and if you make a mistake and then paint over it again. So, so this was one of my students from the other week who had done the mousse and she did an amazing job. She wanted all these beautiful fall colors so thank you Gloria and Madison also did one too. So I'm just showing you basically because sometimes you might get like a perfect cutout like there and then sometimes this might happen so don't worry if it does everything's fixable in acrylics <laughs> so I just gonna hand paint now this paint is thinned out quite a bit so I might have to do a few coats but that's okay This is just me showing you how I sand down any of the ridges with some sandpaper or with a Dremel. Like don't, I'm not afraid to go with a Dremel and sand down paintings and stuff, but I know it could be intimidating, but you know, if you're careful enough and you just take your time, it's totally doable. So I see how <laughs> not solid this paint is because it's kind of liquid out a bit. But I'll just do a few coats. Try and pick up some of the more solid stuff. Just because there's not very much left in the thing. And just keep working on it, so... But that's basically how I fix up leakage of paint. Under. Now if the paint leaks out and it's not bumpy and it's super flat, you can just paint it back in your negative space. So down here I've kind of fixed up the edges a little bit already of just painting in the negative space because I had a bit of a there's a bit of a space there, so yeah. So that is the beauty of <laughs> acrylic paint. It's all fixable. Excellent. <laughs> so that is the new Moose Silhouette. And I am starting to sell um, the pre-cut vinyls on my Crafty Gen art store just because I've had a lot of people ask or they have trouble hand cutting them out and stuff so um, I've already gotten some people that have ordered them so pre-ordered <laughs> so I am getting those up and uh, getting ready to package those out and thank you so much guys for you know subscribing to my channel um, for watching liking my videos and commenting I try to get back to everybody and I greatly appreciate using my Amazon links in the description for any of your, your supplies. That's amazing. And thank you, thank you so much. And I can't wait to show more tutorials on this. So thank you so much, guys, and have fun creating.